This is the PlayStation 5 DualSense remote control. And this is the PS5 DualSense Edge wireless remote control. Hello and thank you so much for joining me today for another exciting episode of unboxing. This is Maxi Limit. Today we are going to be doing the unboxing of the brand new PS5 uh, remote control. This is the DualSense Edge remote control. So again, this thing is pack of technology. So in this video, we are going to be doing the unboxing of this brand new device. And later during the video, we are going to be doing a review or comparison of the two devices. And the ultimate question that you should always ask yourself before buying a new device is, do I need it? Is it worth the upgrade? I'll let you know all about that in this video. So without further ado, let's start cracking. Welcome back. So, as you can see in front of the box, we have the PlayStation, Sony, and then the image of the remote control. As you can see, is the DualSense Edge wireless controller. Okay, so this is basically what we have in front of the box. On the side of the box, eventually, we always have the content. At the back, it looks like we will be able to uh, like dismount this whole <laughs> remote control because it looks like you can take everything apart, which is gonna be amazing to look at on the other side just a simple picture of the of the controller so let's go and uh, open it up as you can see it's still sealed here so we are gonna uh, open it up for the first time so I will break the seal here I should have uh, taken a knife but I don't have any knife okay this is now open Let's lift it up. So, as you can see, inside of the box, we have another box. We're gonna take it out. Okay, and inside of this box, there's absolutely nothing. So we're gonna put this on the side. And inside of it, we do have this uh, different type of box. So we're gonna open this up. There you go. Oh, this is beautiful. So the packaging from the first look of this, it is fabulous, it's amazing. It's wrapped in the white, some kind of cloth paper. And then uh, we have the, uh, the controller itself. Uh, to be honest with you, it is uh, really heavy. It is absolutely heavy. Uh, I don't know why is it that heavy, but it is definitely heavy. So let's wrap it up. And inside, we do have a case. <laughs> this is just amazing. We have a case, and uh, we, as, as you can see on the case, we do have the PS logo, so PlayStation. And then uh, at the back of it, we do have a couple of uh, the buttons. We have the uh, triangle, the circle, the X, and the square. And we have some kind of, uh, it is a very, very solid plastic. It is very, very solid. And right in front here, or actually you can see on the on the zipper, we also have the uh, the PlayStation logo right there and another one here. And here, I don't know if we can open this part. No, we cannot open it. Maybe we should be able to open it, but we cannot open it. So let me open this for the first time here. And again, the case is just fabulous. Okay, and then let's open it up. This is just phenomenal. This is beautiful, very beautiful. Okay, uh, as you can see, don't, right inside of the box here, we have the controller. We are going to bring our attention to the controller very shortly. But again, as you can see here on this small pocket here, we do have the cable that they were talking about in front of the box. And the cable, it is obviously the USB Type C connector we already know that so there's a usb this goes to the uh, playstation and then uh, this will go to your room, uh, remote control okay that's it and inside here that is everything we don't have anything else in the box so this part is good and here we have the controller itself it is kind of the same feeling the same weight as the previous one i think so but i could be wrong so let's put this on the side and uh, again, as you can see in the box, we have a couple of other tools here. 
so we have this connector uh, here we go it's some kind of uh, connector that when you plug it in you can lock it up okay we are going to demo demonstrate all this uh, in a little bit in the video but right now I'm just gonna show you whatever comes in the box okay so as you can see we have this little connector here it says lock now lock so it's definitely gonna be uh, we're gonna be locking and unlocking some cable from it and I like the way that everything is, is put in a specific spot <laughs> this is very very beautiful and then uh, here we do have the stick uh, we know this is a kind of small, small stick here. So if, in case you broke one, you can definitely change it. But keep in mind that the stick here is different from the one that we have. This one has a little bit of a deep shape here, so you can put your your hand in, and it has a good grip. This one have a kind of a flat, flat, uh, flat edge. So it's kind of the same, but uh, the shape is a little bit different. Okay, so keep that in mind. And we have four of them so four of those you can definitely uh, use it we have those small small connectors here uh, as you can see uh, it's very tiny but I guess it goes into the into the controller at the back of the controller I'm gonna show you shortly and we have those triggers as well another uh, type of uh, trigger that we can also put on the controller so again everything is put in their spot so if you buy this normally if you keep everything in their respective spot everything should be should be fine and uh, it looks like uh, like i said before this small hole here looks like we can open it we have to kind of push the part we have to push it and then we can open it so we can actually uh charge charge uh, the remote control directly from the case okay it's kind of when we close it it kind of uh, it's hard to open but you can definitely open it if you put some pressure on it then you can definitely open this up all right that is pretty much everything that we have in the box now let's uh, bring our attention to the remote itself and then a moment of truth this is pretty much it the color is white and black pure black okay it is very amazing Compared to the other uh, PS5 that we have, the remote control of the previous PS5, the button here, I mean, the, uh, the this touch pad, we have all these uh, triangle icons and then circle, like the same buttons, but very, uh, we can actually feel, feel it, we can feel it. It's very, very good. And then again, we have our regular joystick. We have the PS5 button, the PS button. We have the, uh, the signal for the microphone when it's mute. And then uh, we have another, well, it's the same thing, but it's a little bit different. The, the cutoff for the microphones, okay? And here we have a function button. Uh, so I don't know if you can see it. We have a FN, FN. Unless I guess it's something that we can program again. We're gonna be doing a full review and then we're gonna put this into the desk right now. It's just a quick unboxing to see what we have in the box. Okay, we have those FN button, we have a regular stuff, the few buttons and all these buttons, and here we have the triggers uh, R1, uh, left one, and then uh, R2, left two, and then now at the back we have. A different type of connector uh, as you can see we do have this uh, kind of uh, switch have three levels we have a low level medium and high and for two of them and these ones is basically for the triggers so you know when you are playing games and then you want to press the R2 and the left two sometimes it's hard okay so you can feel like it's, it's like very hard so you can decide to uh, to increase the intensity of uh, this uh, R2 and L2 button and then that's what the switches are for and at the back here as you can see we do have uh, the LB and then RB button and again we have the release button here and I'll show you what all these buttons are for so uh, again this thing that we have here we can put uh, those things inside and then uh, we can definitely uh, do a lot of things with it okay we have the arrow this button here and we can decide to use uh, 
those tiny buttons you can just directly put it inside here and then uh, twist it and put it inside and that's it you see it's kind of a trigger we can put the second one as well it's very easy to put it though you just put in and then you twist it it's uh, kind of straightforward but if you don't know how to do it you can definitely uh, get used to it and then it, it just it just fall in place automatically so it's another trigger if you prefer you can use uh, the longer one you can definitely use it and then this is uh, just phenomenal so you can press it here and press it okay so again uh this was just a quick unboxing of the uh of the uh, ps5 or dual sense uh, edge controller for uh this Sony just release but i'm gonna i'm gonna bring my ps5 uh, regular remote control and we can kind of see the difference between those two okay so side by side as you can see we have the dual sense edge here and then the dual sense regular one i decided to get uh, the blue one because of um if i have a dollar and then sometimes you know kids they just play with the dirty hands so the white was not really a uh, favorite color but anyway blue one is also amazing there's so many other colors out there you can just choose whatever color you want and then whichever suits you better so for me personally i like the uh, blue one and the black one but again the white one also is fantastic i don't know if they do if they make any other color except from the black uh, black and white one for the uh, for the uh, for the edge but uh, definitely we have to uh, check it out again i just wanted to show you uh, the difference between those two controllers as you can see from the front uh, it looks uh, similar we have same button in the front left and right up and down and then uh, triangle square x and then uh, the o we have the ps button ps button the microphone microphone and then like i was saying before as you can see here the cutout is a little bit different for the microphone holes okay this one is a tiny one this one is a little bit bigger one okay and then and that is pretty much it uh in the bottom as you can see now this is where the big difference is uh we can definitely see both differences we have those two triggers here and we have uh, those uh, uh things to 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 set up uh, how hard we want our pressure to go so the gauges is there we have those two buttons rb and lb and we have a relief button okay and then this one obviously is just flat we do have this reset button a uh, reset a uh, small hole there and then that's it uh in front here we do have the the function button so our uh we, we have fn fn uh, for both sides and that's it so this release button will just release um let me show you oh no push this release button here so when i press the release button what happens is it releases the case here as you can see uh it releases the uh the cover so we can have because as you know we can now directly change this uh analog thing so if let's say you're playing and you broke one of these things previously if one of this is broken then that's it if you are screwed you have to kind of either go and repair it or currently change the whole um you can change the whole remote control but in this one we can directly just switch it over and i can show you quickly how to switch there's a little bit of lever here you're gonna pull it up and then once it's pulled up then we can definitely pull it back it's a very very simple and easy way to do it and the connectors are here we just have to get a new one and then obviously put it in the right spot right and put it in the right spot and then push it back and don't forget to press this down and then that is how easy it is to change so this remote control if you have it and something broke it's going to be very very easy to to fix it as you just saw and on the other side again same level we're going to print this up a little bit you're going to feel a click and then you can just pull it out very very easy and once it's pushed back in you're going to bring this back and then that's it both of them are in now and then again don't forget to always put back the cover make sure that it goes in place uh, make sure that it goes in place correctly and once once it's done there you go once it's done it's gonna be automatically locked okay perfect all right guys this will conclude today's uh, video this was a quick unboxing on my next video we are gonna play with the brand new uh, 
PS5 remote control, the, uh, the, the DualSense Edge, and then we're gonna see what all these buttons mean and how we can program them to have a good and better uh, gameplay time, okay? This is Maxi Limit signing out. Thank you, have a wonderful night, bye-bye.